next thing we need to set up is when the home screen turns yellow. The great thing about a 2020 is you set when the screen turns yellow, and if you set that correctly for your system, if you have a screen that is just solid green, plan away. If I notice there's something yellow, I know something's below the threshold I was comfortable with, and I need to pay attention to it. So it's not that I have to look at it, well, what's, my, what's every number? If I get things set, I can look and say, everything's green, and if everything's running within a parameter I'm happy with, lost the planner. If I see things that are yellow, I can dive into it a little bit more. So to do this, we're going to touch set up on the right, then crops up at the top. <laughs> now with corn being the active crop, I'm going to adjust my limits for corn. So down here at the bottom, there's limit adjustments. I'm going to touch on that. Alright, so the first thing is the population alarm. So 80%. So whatever, you can touch any of these boxes and change the number. Population alarm defaults to 80%. So that means when you are planning 80% of your target, you're going to get an audible alarm. It's going to make a sound, whatever sound selection you have. So it's indicating a row fail. In the same way, if you were planning 120% of your target, it would indicate a row fail as well. So there's that one. Now, all the other ones, except the misplaced seed limits, is a setting for when the, when the boxes on the home screen are going to turn yellow. So population limit. If that's at 1,000 like it is right now, if you say, I'm going to plant 34, if you have one row below 33 or above 35, the low or the high box will turn yellow. If your planter average is 1,000 higher or lower, then the entire large population box turns yellow. Right? So if you have a planter that plants row by row, the population is very consistent, I leave it at 1,000. But if your population row to row is you know, up to 1,000 seeds variable, just because of the way the planter plants, I want to put that at 2,000. The simulation limit, going we'll across the top. Uh, this is one of the more important ones because simulation is a very important factor to um, yield. So if I touch on that box, I can select any of these preset numbers or I can select other. So you want to set this right below the, the simulation performance you expect from your readers. So if I'm operating a V-set meter, such as what this planner there is, as on it, I'd probably set this at 99%. Then if I have one row that's simulated below 99, it's going to alert me. If the planter average is below 99, the big box is going to turn yellow. Alright, V sets should simulate above 99 all the time. Now, if I had a finger planter, and I had this set at 99 because the finger planter has more variation to it, that simulation box just might be yellow all the time. And if that's the case, that's not doing me much good. If it's constantly yellow, and then one row drops 3%, it's still yellow. There's no change. <coughs> so, if my simulation that I expect out of my meters is 97.5%, I might touch other and set my simulation limit at 97. Because then if I drop off half a percent, I, I get a yellow box. Right? So it's just, this should be set right below simulation you can expect. So if you have your meters calibrated, you know and have an idea of what your simulation will be, and you can use that to set this. So then these other words, there's a smooth ride limit. 90% is probably a good spot to have that. It's going to vary field to field, depending on your tillage conditions, how this is going to be set. Spacing limit, 95 is a good spot to have that. Uh, ground contact limit, along with simulation, is a very important one. Shallow plants, or shallow planted seeds, Planted in drier soil have a real great opportunity to emerge late, which is a negative thing, and not happen here. So we want that ground contact at high, so 95 is a good spot. SRI limit, 20 is a good spot for that. Right, your misplaced seed limits, this 4 inch, that's what determines when the good when the good spacing box determines it's an error. If you want to, you can change this. Okay, so if I'm using a 30 inch planter, and I want that to look really good, I can change it to two and a half. I would have seeds closer than four inches causing yield loss. I wouldn't want to do that. You can make it more sensitive by increasing to one of these values 
but you can have C closer than five and a half, and it's facing number low, but it's not affecting your yield. So that's why I recommend leaving this at four. And then if you want to really dive into new performance, look at SRI. So I hit enter. And this crops tab is the same place I would change my crop. So all those limits plus up here, all these things are going to change to what I set them for when I change the crop. So now, if I go change crop, I'm going to select soybeans. You might have to add other crops, but now my soybeans back. So now if I touch one of the adjustments, now you can see the population on here is 3,000 instead of 1,000. So you might want to make that 3,000, you might want to make that wider. Uh, for soybeans, in most cases, simulation and spacing will not be accurate and potentially not be shown. So it depends on how many seeds per second are going by the sensors. Many times with soybeans, there's so many seeds per second, we cannot accurately determine a simulation or spacing value. Um, but your ground contact limit, smooth drive limit, I'll leave that the same. Depth, depth control is still just, just as important. So on this, cross tab, so setup and then cross. Uh, so on here, the seeds to average. Now if I go to corn, that's at 300. I change crop, it was soybeans, 1500. So roughly 10% of my population. So. That one, if you leave that at 300 on soybeans, your population is just going to constantly be jumping around. Down in the bottom left, economic adjustments. Here is what determines what the loss per acre box is showing you. So if your loss per skip is 80% a year, 40% multiple, 10% a year within four inches, 20% within two and a half. Here's your price per bushel. I put a price per bushel in there if you have that loss per acre button showing you. And then basically down here, up to four dollars loss is going to say good, and then it's going to turn different colors as it gets above that four dollars. If you put this four dollar loss on a good at zero, it's always going to give you a dollar figure. It'll never say good.